Is it fair to say if you were completely healthy last year, played all the way through, average, you know, whatever your goals were and all that, you probably would have gone? Uh, I may have, you know, um, just depending on the situation and what those guys, you know, rated me as. Yeah. What they want me to be when I come out. But that's I'm all. I think without the foot, you would have been kind of a different guy and that might have improved as enough. Um, yeah, you may be right on that, but yeah. it's hard to say. How often does your mind drift back to the home fumble? Oh, I, I'll come put it behind me after yeah. the season was over. You know, um, this is a whole new year. Um, that game's over. It's a new spring. I'm not trying to have that situation again. What was the decision like for you to, to come back for each year? Was it difficult? Was it, what was that process like? Um, it was difficult because, you know, I kind of had people pulling me this way, pulling me this way. So, you know, I kind of had to wear my options out and just kind of talk to the right people. And, you know, Coach was a big, big help in that situation. You know, I get to talk to him kind of made my mind clear. What was your grade? What was your evaluation? I um, was third round. Third round. What, uh, what lesson do you think you learned on that, on that fourth and one, on that one, on that fumble at the one yard line? Do you take a lesson from it, if anything, from it? Yeah, uh, we actually work on this drill, like every day we, uh, it's a drill to where we work on and we simulate us getting tackled, just holding the ball close to us. Because it wasn't really like a uh, drop it, you know, it was kind of, I was going down and the ball got away from me and then the guy got a shot of arm in there, pulled it out. Do you think you'll probably ever see something like that happen in your career ever again? No, nah, that's, that's very rare. Uh, I haven't seen it to no, no running back, to be honest with you. Uh, it's kind of weird. Yeah. What was the best piece of advice you've received when you were trying to figure out what to do uh, this year? Um, just really just do what's best for you. Um, and just hearing that, it kind of made me realize, you know, I wasn't ready to leave Clemson yet. Uh, I still have some things I have to work on just to better my game. And that's a big, big, big part why I came back. So. When you look at, I mean, you were you were not healthy for a lot of last season. When you look at what you did and what you're able to accomplish, do you feel like you have a lot of potential left? What more you can accomplish this fall? Oh yeah. Um, you no, know, when I'm, when I'm fully ready to go, 100. percent You know, it's, it's a different guy down the field. You know, it's, a, you know, it's, it's one of those things where you got to fight through some pain. You know, I kind of did that the whole season last year, and I still ended up having a pretty good season. And, I'm just curious to see what I can do being 100 percent all year. What are some of the specifics you want to improve on this year? Oh, uh, I want to be a big factor in the passing game. Um, you know, coming back, you know, that's one of my goals to work on in the offseason is better my hands. So that's probably the biggest thing that maybe you think that would help your stock. Uh, for that yeah, so. yeah, that's that's big. The really the, the majority of the. You know, my stock is going to be just my hands because, you know, they all know I can run the ball. And, you know, I wouldn't be where I'm at now if I couldn't run the ball. And, you know, a lot of a lot of teams use backs in their passing game a lot in the NFL. And, you know, you have to be able to catch the ball. What are you doing? Just getting on the judge machine a good bit and using that? Or? Uh, I haven't stopped the judge yet. Uh, I bring the judge out um, when we out here in the summer, mm -hmm. when the coaches are all gone. But, you know, just 